Today, I'm talking to you guys about Final Cut on the iPad. I've been using Final Cut for many years. It's my personal favorite video editing software. I've tried iMovie, Premiere Pro, LumaFusion, and Final Cut is hands down my favorite. I know everybody's gonna have their opinions about what is the best, but for me, Final Cut is just the most intuitive. It has everything I need. But yeah, in this video, I'm basically gonna run through some of the like main pros and cons of Final Cut on the iPad, and I'm gonna walk you through a couple of the features and capabilities that I think are really cool and stand out, and we're just gonna talk about it. Let me pull up my notes here so I sound like I know what I'm talking about. Let's first talk about pricing, because let's just get that out of the way. Final Cut is $50 for the yearly subscription or $5 a month for the monthly subscription. I'm not a big fan of subscriptions. I try to keep my monthly subscriptions down, but also I don't really care if it's something that I like and I'm gonna use a lot. A lot of us pay that for coffee every day or more. I really don't think $5 a month is that crazy, especially for how, I mean, amazing this editing software is and you could probably make $5 a month with this editing software. Final Cut has a very similar layout on the iPad as it does on the desktop, except now, of course, you have touchscreen and Apple Pencil capabilities. You can use a Magic Keyboard or any other iPad keyboard you have with a mouse to edit clips, but if you don't have that, you can use the new wheel that they have called a jog wheel, which allows you to quickly scrub through your footage, nudge clips, slice things up like you would with a mouse, but it's all touchscreen. I actually really liked the experience and because I have gotten so quick at editing like that on my phone for social media, it was already a very familiar workflow for me and I found it very intuitive and easy to use. And of course, whenever you have, you know, touch features, you get gestures like pinch to zoom, swipe and tap so you can navigate through clips and rearrange them and apply effects really easily. You also have access to capabilities like audio editing, color grading. You get a whole content library full of effects, transitions, titles, and a full music library. <laughs> Ooh, epic. And what I really like about the music is that you can just continuously drag it out and the song will just continue and continue. So if you have a 10 minute video, you could have this 10 minute background track going and it will just seamlessly move throughout it. The most exciting feature in my opinion, which is the Apple Pencil capabilities with the iPad, you can draw on your screen, on your video, and it will automatically animate out that text for you. Now, if you have tried this in the past, you know, doing it through Procreate, you'll know it's a few step process. You gotta like write it out in Procreate, export it, upload it. But this just does it right in the app, which is a game changer for me because I love adding cute little written text on my videos that I'm going to be using my Apple Pencil on all of my videos and I'm so excited. I know that's such like a basic girl thing to be like, I'm so excited about the pen, but that's what I'm really excited about is to be able to draw on my videos. Like even just something like that. These are just the things that excite me in life. It just adds a nice personal element to your videos. You also get cool features like the multi-camera feature where you can select four different clips and have it seamlessly swap throughout them. They also have a scene removal mask, which basically you don't even need a green screen anymore. You can just plug in these different backgrounds and it will apply them to your video. And you can also send this to your Mac. So you can upload your iPad Final Cut profile to your MacBook file to do any finishing touches you might need. So I also have a few things that are cons or negatives or just things that aren't quite there yet, in my opinion. So the first is that you can't record a voiceover within the app. So you would have to upload this to your computer to then do the voiceover. Or you can upload voiceover clips into the file, but you can't record them within the file. You can go from iPad Final Cut to Desktop Final Cut, but you can't go from Desktop Final Cut to iPad Final Cut. So. That is another thing, like you can't really switch back and forth interchangeably. 
which for me, how I see myself using this is doing a lot of the editing here, doing a lot of the chopping up of the clips, the live drawings, like the basic format of the video goes uh, from my iPad and then I upload it to my desktop to do the final things. Another little nitpicky thing, it doesn't show you a preview of the fonts within the titles. Um, it does on the desktop, you can see all of the different fonts and what they look like before you apply them. But on the iPad, it doesn't show you any of the previews. And the other kind of negative, but it's not really negative because it is coming soon, but the third party plugins feature isn't available on iPad yet. It does say coming soon. So if you have different packs from creators you know, there's all different types of animation effects and transition packs you can buy for Final Cut. You won't be able to use those on this. Yes, you can plug an SD card in here and upload your footage. It did it great for me. I edited my normal like YouTube intro with video footage from the camera that I'm filming on now. So it's high quality footage. It's very large and I haven't had any problems with lag. I've had no issues whatsoever with applying effects, transitions, things like that. Everything just works really fast, but I can see how over time this would rack up a lot of space on your iPad um, and you would have to just be really diligent about offloading it on to an external hard drive. In the process of testing out Final Cut Pro and making this video, I edited a little YouTube intro. So here is a little example of what you could create with Final Cut on your iPad. I am a pretty basic editor. I mean, no offense to my editing style, but I just like to chop up clips, add text, um, color grade a little bit, and add a voiceover. I'm not doing any crazy filmmaking, editing. You know, I'm doing very basic stuff. So for me, this is perfect. Um, I like using it both touchscreen and on the Magic Keyboard. I actually think I might like using it better just on the touchscreen. Overall, I think it's really great. I'm gonna use it all of the time. And while there are a few things that are missing from like my personal little workflow that I do, I see Apple probably adding those updates in the future and as it grows. And this is just the first drop, the first iteration. Having the voiceover would have made this like my full editing flow. Just that one step is missing for me which is unfortunate. And it seems like it would be an easy thing to add. So maybe they'll add it in the future, I don't know. I also wanted to quickly mention that Logic is now available on iPad as well. I am not personally musically inclined, but if you are, this is a music producing app. I've even tested it out myself just to see what I could create and it was pretty awesome. I can only imagine what people who are actually good at music are going to create with this. So if you wanna check that out, I will have links to videos and resources below. And that is about it on this video. I hope you learned something and let me know what you guys think of the new final cut below if you're going to try it out and I will see you in the next video.